lest they get some brief information about his friend. Peachy was first appeared in 1978 in New Orleans and was founded by Philip Jordan, a pioneer in the coffee industry that demonstrated that beta burns, superior roasting techniques, and pure passion for the art of coffee making mattered. Then Peachy was led by Felden Jones, who has a church table opportunity to cope with all Lopez, a skillful owner from the El Territorio coffee farm. Therefore, he had himself perfectly analyzed and assessed the quality of coffee beans, made the flavor became unique. Thus, international expansion successfully conducted thanks to his treasured enthusiasm and experiences. In their development history, he has always followed the principle of, con of making and serving fresh, authentic coffee with the model of from farm to cups. Peaches core values are expressed in these three factors. From the very first day, Peaches principle in doing business is to bring a savory taste and sophisticated experience of New Orleans coffee to customers all over the world. Peaches want to ensure the quality of coffee is including freshness and outstanding form. We enthusiastically take care from the farmer to each stage of the coffee seed production process. Mrs. Philip Jordan, who was the founder of Beechay Coffee and also one of the first creators of the cornbread coffee method, wants to help retain its full flavor and aroma. Thus, Beechay has itself a unique and perfect heritage global branding. Apart from that, Peach wants to contribute and improve the quality of farmer lives on the El Terrorito land, where the Arabica beans is traditionally collected. As they announced with the citizen there, we are proud to see them as family. They will have some action such as conduct community activities and some local curriculums. The final core value is the minimization of negative impacts on the environment, which is the vital ethic in business framework nowadays. So that is the reason why Pichet Coffee always uses eco-friendly packaging. The reason why Pichet must go global just because the first one is green coffee consumption are on trend and the business framework towards investing in eco-consume is strongly encouraged all over the world. Coffee is the second most sought-after commodity all over the world. And uh, in Finland, Finland is the second largest country, country that consumes coffee the most. So, and furthermore, Generation X and Millennials, which are the main laborers in Finland, are attaching more importance to produce quality related to reducing plastic consumption and using organically certified beans. PHA products, which means their coffee beans come from roasted coffee seeds, combined with the principle of environmentally friendly production. PHA's developing strategy is with expanding suitably towards the foreign markets are suitably matched with the global coffee consumption prosperity mentioned. Consequently, Pichet must go, go global branding into a potential and pioneer coffee market should like Finland. Okay, let's move to the next part is opportunity assessment. There are five countries that PJ's coffee can expand to their market, which are France, Finland, Singapore, Japan, and Korea. They all have their strength and opportunity that PJ's coffee highly appreciate. Uh, for example, like um, their developed economy in France, the high GDP per capita in Singapore, uh, Japanese coffee culture and their tax exemption in Korea. However, we decided to choose Finland as the highest 
potential country for PJ's coffee can enter to their market because of three factors, which are um, economy, social, and politic. To be more, more specific, uh, firstly, the economy in Finland is the top highest GDP in the world and moreover they have the really good transportation system such as a uh, river port, seaport, train and air transportation which are one of their um, remarkable factor for uh, to boost their uh, effectiveness in their cargo transport station and moreover their politics is one of their factors that uh, have advantage to their doing business because um, Finland had a stable politic the stable politic and um, their foreign exchange control abolishment is um, have their good have their good advantage for PJ's coffee can enter to their um, market. And last but not least, coffee is plays uh, coffee plays their role in really important uh, role in their in, in Finland in Finland culture and lifestyle. Um, and to them like uh, drinking coffee is one of their social activities and they have the highest coffee consumption in the world with the 12 12 kilogram um, per capita per capita a year so that's why all their uh, reasons above is the uh, reason that we choose Finland to um, let PJ coffee enter in their market Okay, next, I will talk about culture inside. When it comes to culture, English is considered as a second language in Finland. Additionally, they, they have diverse religion, inclu including Lutheran, Eastern Orthodox, and unspecific religion. In short, language and religion are not the main communication communication barrier for PJ's coffee to launch in their Finland market. Secondly, go deeply into Finnish coffee culture. As I have mentioned earlier, Finland is the largest coffee consumption in the world and Finnish want to roast the coffee with a light taste. But but medium and dark roast are also consumed in their store. One of the reasons that PJ's coffee should launch in Finland, in Finland market because they have a huge number of adults who are in their uh, working age and will become the potential customer of PJ's coffee. Um, in addition, there are there are uh, 70 people living in urban area and they use social media a lot. Therefore, PJ's Coffee can reduce their advertising cost uh, to connect with those target customers and they can directly raise brand awareness through their uh, networking sales online. Um, and lastly, Finish refer uh, communicate by email or by SMS message so PJs can run the email campaign in their marketing plan in uh, when they launch in the Finland market. Hi, my name is Zoom. So now let me elaborate on squad analysis. First, I will highlight these trends where on four criteria origination products adding value, and finally, e-service. In terms of origination, PJ Coffee is a predominant local brand in New Orleans. It is an American city of Kobe coffee, so as you know, the country of origin perception it really have an impact.
on the way customers think about these products. They seem, they seem to prefer products from exactly the origin country rather than each other. As a result, PJ Coffee has an in the positive image in customer mind. About the products, PJ Coffee commit to bring their customer the fattest beverage, so they only use the top 1% of Arabica beans. The quality of coffee is also ensured through the careful searching process, expiration date, and rusting techniques. Besides, PJ Coffee highly appreciates the eco-friendly experience for customers by using eco-friendly items such as paper cups and fabric cup holders. Along with that, PJ Coffee really concentrates on providing the good service. They provide publicly nutrition level in their parish for those who carefully control their nutrition level in their milk. In addition, PJ Coffee also cooperates with Osner Eatfish to provide the healthier choice for customers. Secondly, PJ Coffee also has some shortcomings. Poor awareness in Europe's specific, specific example, they do not have any selling boys, selling boys in any country in Europe, they mainly distribution on United States. And in terms of e-commerce, PJ Coffee offer likes likes of products to display in e-commerce platforms such as Amazon and eBay. Thirdly, about the opportunities, PJ Coffee product price are moderately affordable for the fitness as it cost is similar to the price of the middle-end and high-end segment in Finland. Moreover, as I mentioned above, PJ Coffee only use top 1% Arabica pins. So according to Finn Partnership, in 2017, Arabica is one of the most to improve coffee ties in Finland, which means PJ Coffee conveniently and cheaply deliver Arabica beans to their store in Finland. Finally, about the stress. Uh, in terms of competitors, Paulik and Meida are the two largest com coffee company in Finland, which occupy around 40, 48% and 21% of the value of all sale in Finland. Additionally, Starbucks, the competitor of PJ Coffee in the US market, also penetrated in Finland market early in 2012. Moreover, PJ Coffee is generally middle and dark road, while the leader the light rotted coffee is more popular in Finland. However, it is not a serious threat as middle and dark type are becoming increasingly popular. Next, I will continue with the campaign objective. In terms of objective, we divided into three time frames short term in six months, middle term in 12 months and long term from 24 to 48 months. We also place on five categories to make the objective, including brand awareness, brand consideration, offline store, sales, and brand loyalty. Especially the reason why we choose housing keys and s as two optimal cities to open the coffee shop, because they are two biggest cities in Finland. It is the opportunity for PJ to attract small customers. Hello, my name is Tao. Today, I will cover the target audience. According to 
World Population Review in 2019, there are a huge number of people who are in the working age and that is an opportunity for BJs because they are willing to pay for many cups of coffee per day and our target audience will be female and male in the age between of 20 to 60 and they are living urban area. They are high educated people and have middle to high income. For the first person there, they are white collar worker who are in the, the age between of 30 to 60. They are both female and male. They are have the, the pocket money around 3,500 euro per month and, and they have the habit in their life. They check email every day, they drink coffee everywhere, every time, and they have business talk at coffee store. They aim to earn a lot of money and they aim to have the better life standards. For the attitudes, they have responsibility of family, for family, and they are really serious at work. They work really hard and they try to balance between work and life. For the second person that, that is university student, they are 20 years old, both female and male, they pocket money up to 2000 euro per month and for the they use social media a lot, they are tech savvy and they are really active because they are young people. They meet thing at coffee store and love promotion and discount code. They aim to have a good job in the future and they uh, join in a lot of social campaign. They really enthusiasm with their youth, they are open-minded. They are yellow, they are fresh fashionista and they are active. Our team will use four piece marketing framework to analyze the potential of purchase coffee when they enter to Finland market, cafe market. So let's regard the first P, product. The main product that Peaches Coffee use is cold brew coffee and hot brew coffee with the top 100 Arabica bean, coffee beans in the world. Arabica and Robusta are two types of coffee when they translated all over the world. The price of our Arabica bean is usually twice higher than the figure for Robusta, but it occupies two thirds of the quality of the quantity on the market, which means the consumer they use Arabica beans more than Robusta beans. The reason that Arabica is one of the most popular coffee beans is is gently scent with the slight sour. Especially the amount of caffeine in Arabica bean is twice lower than Robusta, which better for the customer health. Health, and furthermore, since they don't like coffee without caffeine because they are very interested in the caffeine in coffee bean. This leads to the fact that we won't import the Arabica to the Finland market. There is a variety of products lying in Peaches coffee, but the way to make Peaches different is that the cool brew and the hot brew so that even severe weather with freezing cold, they can take a sip of hot cafe. And in contrast, a cup of cold brew will make them cool and relax after tired working hours. Peaches coffee brew the beans because it can keep the smell and make coffee more smooth, which that Mrs. Philly Chardon has discovered. Another interesting point is that we also take care of the environmental protection problem. When we run business, here in Finland, we completely 100% guarantee that we, we will use packaging which is friendly to the environment and plastic straws would be avoided. For the second P, the price, our team found out that the coffee price in Finland divided into three segments. The upper end from $33 to $75 per kilogram. The, low, the middle end is from around $13 to 
to uh, no, to uh, thirty two dollars per kilogram in the lower end from around six or seven dollars to thirteen dollars per kilogram. Peaches coffee price is the in the upper end segment in Finland market. Peaches coffee want to serve the fresh, authentic, and high quality drink. Therefore, they decided to choose value based pricing method. Peaches coffee would base their price on the customer perception about the perceived value and set a suitable price for the product. The perception of value is the combination of tangible factors such as the price of the supplementary goods, the usefulness, the utility of the products, and intangible factors such like a product quality, services, or brand attributes. This pricing method could help attract new customer segmentation via awareness and increase brands' consideration with the fresh and authentic Arabica Top 1% coffee beans and the brand service. This price seems an affordable price in the coffee market in Finland. For the third key place, we will have different uh, places for the different um, stage where launch peaches into the Finland market. In the first stage, Finland trade, fair, uh, trade fairs are chosen to introduce peaches coffee brand into the Finland market. Uh, um, there are two there are two channels of penetrate coffee in Finnish market with our direct channels and information channels. In this marketing strategy, the direct channel is applied, which means PJ Coffee can directly contact with buyers to trade fair shirts as wine, food, good, living exhibition. Helsinki Coffee Festival and Fast Food or the Cafe and Ravintola Helsinki. Secondly, we, we want to engage more with customers. Physical coffee shops should be placed. Um, the Finnish coffee market is divided into two segments, including in-home consumption and including supermarkets, specialized shops and workshops, and out-home consumption, including coffee shops and other entertainment places, restaurants, cinemas, and offices. First, and foremost, the brands should open their stores in Finland capital, named Helsinki, which is the most popular city. Moreover, they should create partnership with cinema, such as Orion Mason, to distribute a coffee store in the cinema location. So the final part of 4 P's analysis is promotion. To boost the interaction between the consumer and the business, we suggest that Pichin was publishing some e-vouchers on buying apps and generating some giveaways on steel straw, steel straw and fabric strap to encourage the equal consumption. Moreover, because Finnish is really pay attention to sport and their health, so we suggest that Pichin must sponsor it for sport events and cooperating with fitness apps to raise the awareness and to gain loyalty and sharing from consumer. In the positioning map, we will choose the price and the brand choice are the two decide decisive um, information to place Beaches Coffee in the Finnish um, coffee market. So in this positioning map, uh, we have PJs at the upper end uh, segment of the price and so that the the coffee brands that have quite high price will be the competitor for PJs coffee. And for the choices, um, we have Pollock. Pollock is the most common coffee brand in Finland, which means they will have a lot a variety of products they can serve to the customers but beaches <coughs> they bring along in their own value that they have the unique origin and the unique smell and savory taste as we mentioned above so we believe that beaches coffee will have their uniqueness and mm, the potential to entering Finnish market 
Hello, I'm Thảo again and I will cover the communication plan. With the communication plan, we will run it into six months and divide it into three stages. For the first stage, that is teasing, one and a half months, launching, two and a half months, and sustaining is two months. It will be run from March to August and the big idea of the campaign is Bring the soul of coffee closer to you. Why? The soul of coffee will present through the freshness and the authenticity of the coffee bean. Coffee is known as a friend of Finns and it is a company with them at least 12 out of 7. But not everyone can enjoy a cup of coffee that is fresh and it keeps the true taste. Beside that, so that is the reason why PJs hope to bring to them a fresh and authentic coffee closer to them. Beside that, as you can see that consume a lot of caffeine per day can have the bad effect of their health and PJs coffee uh, use the Arabica top 1% and it had less coffee than others coffee bean it's just around 1.2 to 1.5 percent level of caffeine in the coffee beans so that can help the consumer can control and can control and reduce the level of coffee coffee that they consume per day and through this campaign we will Put, we will show three hashtags that is fresh, authentic, and Arabica top 1% on social media. In this campaign, we focus on raise the brand awareness of target audience. With the first stage, the key message is new coffee revolution. For the next stage, that is every day is a fresh start. Why? The soul of coffee is fresh and authentic. They start a day with a cup of coffee, so that is why every day is a fresh start. Great for the, the last stage, great coffee, great moment. PJ's coffee will be their friends and they will accompany with them all day long. And next, I will talk about the activities, IMC tools, and successful metrics that we will use in this campaign. At the first stage, we will use social media, social advertising, viral video, and trade fair. For the second stage, we will use display advertising, online photo contest, sponsor, sporting event, and promotion. For the last stage, we will use display advertising, hashtag, membership card and seasonal promotion to keep customer come back and buy and buy BJ's coffee again. At the IMC tools we focus on social media and and YouTube for the first two stage billboards and banner we and we also use KOLs for the first two two stage. We will use the websites Sweet and Twitters on the second stage and the third stage we use sponsorship for the launching stage and and for the metrics it is measured by engagement conversation and reach for the last two stage we use traffic on social media unique and visitors unique visitors and bounce rate thank you for listening that is Thank you for listening. This is all our campaign.